Hey everybody, Scott here for KPA TV. Today it's Friday. I am going to show you a fun fuzz tone and sauce it up with some effects, some stomps, and uh, some harmonization, some octaves to be more specific. Make it fun and big robot sounding. Oh, good times. Let's do that. Okay, I am starting with the German Fuzz profile by B. Rupert, I believe it is. I think this was one of the stock uh, profiles that comes with the Kemper. And I saved it just because it was the only Fuzz that I found in the entire run through of all the, you know, original profiles. And it's a decent Fuzz. we can make it better. Right now I've got compression, EQ, uh, delay and reverb. They're very uh, subtle. I'm also adding a boost and a shaper to it. And you get a, uh, a much more, a tighter fuzz, which is nice. Which is very cool. Uh, the next thing I'm going to add is some octaves. Let me uh, throw those suckers on. Now things get really fun because I've got a low octave and a high octave. Which is super cool. It's fun for doing stuff like this. is going to overload that thing. I know it. So let's go over to the Kemper. I'm going to show you some of the settings. Alrighty, we are starting with the German Fuzz Profile. My compression settings are just my basic compression settings. Whoops. Same old, same old. Now the, uh, the gate, uh, 1.6, blah, blah, blah. The EQ is doing a bunch of fun stuff. Uh, let's see if we can get in here. Show you what's going on with EQ. Boosting some lows, the usual for me. A little this, a little that. Eh, a little this, a little that. Pulling down some of this. Pushing up some of that. You know, the usual. Uh, the delay and the reverb are really just kind of, you know, whoopsie, banging into the freaking tripod. You know, whoops, and that, eh, the reverb. I would just say, uh, you know, if you want this, then uh, go to the rig exchange and get it. But uh, the things I will show you that are important, uh, like the boost of the pure boost, the uh, shaper is the soft shaper, and the uh, the chromatic pitch with the pure tuning activated. 
Otherwise, you're going to lose some, uh, the notes just won't be in tune. It's just the way it is. Um, I've got, uh, you know, an octave below, an octave above, and then mixed so that the below octave is louder than the above octave, 35% mix overall, and uh, 90 degrees, plus 90 degrees stereo. So that's what's going on with that. Um, as I said before, if you want this, just go to the rig exchange. It'll be easier that way. <laughs> there you go, everybody. Another fun video. Another week of Kemper. Oh, there goes the pick. Hey, what are you going to do? Uh, I will be back on Monday. I'm going to take the JBL and the Kemper to another rehearsal room. Uh, well, same rehearsal room this Sunday and work out some volumes. I ended up spending a couple hours last time just uh, creating a few uh, new presets from some profiles. This time I need to focus. So I got a gig coming up. So I need to get my volumes all in check and uh, make sure all my presets are created and in line on the uh, on the remote. A lot of work to do, but it's going to be fun. So uh, I'm going to start putting up these profiles or these, I guess you're going to call them call them rigs on the uh, rig exchange. I'm still calling them presets because it's what I do. And uh, I'm going to put this one up and the one from Wednesday, the uh, Jazzy uh, Clean or Jazzy Morgan AC, I guess it was called. Uh, I'll start putting those up and then uh, you guys can fuck around with them all you want. Go nuts. It's good times. So I will see you next week. And until then, Rock on.